the next one uh, we find in the Torah, if a priest had a flat nose, they couldn't serve. A flat nose was a blemish. What in the world does a flat nose mean? The Bible tells us. The Torah tells us what a flat nose was. What a concept. Again, let the Bible interpret itself. Moreover, in Job 27, went through, uh, no, Song of Songs. I love the Song of Songs. Let's go to chapter 7, verse 4. He's talking about the bride, and he says, Your neck is as a tower of ivory. Your eyes like the fish pools in Heshbon by the gate of Bath Rabbim. And your nose is like the tower of Lebanon. Who, what lady says, hey, you got a nose like the tower of Lebanon. You know, smack him. What do you mean I have a nose like the tower of Lebanon? That looks toward Damascus. Damascus is the enemy, right? I mean, how many of you ladies would like someone to come up to you and say, oh, you got a nose like a tower? <laughs> so what is God saying? The flat nose is bad, and the nose like the tower is good. Look what Job says. In 27, 1 through 3, <clears throat> Job continued his parable and said, as God lives, who's taken away my judgment and the Almighty, who's vexed my soul all the while my breath is in me and the Spirit of God is in my nostrils. What it's saying is the bride has discernment. The Spirit of God discerns between what is right, what is wrong, and it's looking toward Damascus where the enemy is. Israel is supposed to have the spiritual discernment to know when the enemy is going to attack. A flat nose means no discernment, no spiritual discernment. A nose like the Tower of Lebanon means they have the discernment. And they're looking toward the enemy. Now, in the Brit Hadashah, in Hebrews 5, 12 through 14, it says, when the time that you ought to be teachers, you have need that someone teach you the first principles of the oracles of God and are become such as have need of milk and not strong meat. In other words, everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. He's a baby, but strong meat belongs to those that are a full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern between good and evil. Isaiah says the problem uh, in our day, as well as back then, they're calling evil good and good evil. That's happening right now. I mean, look at the United Nations. Look at the EU, look at America. We're, a lot of times, we're calling evil good and good evil. This is, the Bible is alive, it's for today, and this is uh, the problem. And it has to be exercised, it's got to be used, so that you know, if you don't have discernment, you're not going to know the difference between good and evil. So this is what it is saying. Look at Hebrews 4, 12 through 13, the word of God, there it is, that's the Torah, it's quick, it's powerful, it's sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and it is the discerner. If you don't have the word of God in you, you're not going to know how to discern. It's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that's not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him with whom we have to do. So, a flat nose. How many have ever heard the... Say, uh, saying, I smell a rat. I smell a rat. Okay, so this is what a flat nose is. Uh, and literally in Hebrew, uh, it's to be fit for destruction. A flat nose is having basically no discernment, and it's something that is fit to be destroyed.